Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. So basically in today's video we're going to be reviewing the latest collection from Drop Dead which is Beings of Light and oh my god I am so happy with this collection. I yeah <clears throat> this is a good one. If you're new here, hi, my name is Louie Lewis and I'm based in Adelaide, Australia. I've been collecting Drop Dead for a minute now. Um, I have a collection video I'll leave up here of my t-shirts. I still need to film my outerwear, which is more than my t-shirts, I think. But yeah, I'll get around to that eventually. Today is all about reviewing this latest collection, so let's jump right into it. If I just scoot over here, I'm going to have all of the pieces like pop up over here and I'm going to talk about just each one. So starting off, starting off we have Incarcerated which is such a cool piece. It's not my aesthetic personally but I can see why it's sold out. Well it's sold out in literally all sizes except for extra small. Um, it is a bit pricey as well but like it's a full on like jacket moment and I just think it looks really cool. I love all the details on this whole collection. I love the logo that they've used everywhere. Like it, it's just, it's like crop circle kind of logo. I, I love it. It's so good. But yeah, the back detail is so cool and I love the eyes coming down the back and like just all the random details. I just think it's so well done and like the distressed and like yeah I just really love this piece I also love the colors like the gray like a really light gray with a black right down the middle like spliced and then the pockets are also different I just yeah I really like this piece um but I personally wouldn't wear it but I just think it looks so cool and Ollie rocks it as well I think we've seen him in it yeah I, I like this piece. Moving on, we have Death Valley. Now, I love this piece. It reminds me of the one that they did with the Game of Thrones collection, um, where it had the little logo at the top here. I love this. Um, I was gonna get it, but I was like, oh, I'm not really a big fan of V-lines. Like, I don't really like to show a V. I don't, I'm just not comfortable in a V-line. I don't know why, it's, too, it's just a weird thing for me. But yeah, I love this. It's like a baseball jersey. It says death and it has 33 on it. Um, it's plain on the back. It's all like t-shirt material at the top and then it's like Guernsey material at the bottom. I really like that too. Um, I think this is going to sell very well. I think this is simple but really cool. Oh, and can I just talk about like the, the aesthetic, the like the the characters that have been made um they're from a guy on instagram i'm just going to look him up now because i want to give him recognition where he is like deserved so these are all these characters were designed by lyx wave which is a guy on instagram i have only just started following him but yeah he is incredible like i love this artwork so much yeah, also he did these little characters when the Cradle of Filth collab was launched and I just think it's so cool of Jacob and Ollie. Like, I just think it's sick. He's done such a good job and the website looks so amazing at the moment. So, very good job to him. I have to shout him out. But yeah, love Death Valley. Let's move on. Okay, so this next one, there is three colorways. So, I'm just going to speak on each colorway. Like, I'm going to speak on the item, but then, like, remember that there's more colorways. Um, so there's a red colorway, I'm pretty sure there's, uh, let me just have a look. So there's a red, there's a purple, and then there's a black. So the red one, I actually really liked on the model because I saw, like, it was red and then it was, like, neon green. But then when I scrolled down, it's more of, like, a dark green and it's just, like, mm, I don't really like those colors together. Like, I love a neon green, but it might just be the website, I'm not sure. But, um, yeah, I love this design. It's got an alien on the front. It's got a, it kind of looks like an Egyptian sign of the drop dead symbol, which looks really cool. And then on the back, it says, you're never alone at drop dead. Um, I really love the aesthetic of this. It's simple. It's cool. I always love the aesthetic of like aliens and like something else out there. So I, yeah, I think this is really cool. I myself got the black one with the red alien. I just think that's like, obviously <laughs> it's one I'm going to go for. I love red and black. But yeah, I love the purple one as well, and I think this is such a cool piece.
Oh, and that one is called Never Alone. I don't think I said that, but yeah. Moving on. We have uh, Rosewell, Roswell. I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but this is also another one that is in three colorways. So it has green, it has pink, and it has blue. I picked up the blue one. Um, I love that this is like, this is like this material. So it's like, kind of like acid wash, but like it looks like spiderwebs. I don't know how they do this. I really want to know how they like dye these pieces because I love this like aesthetic. Like I wear this all the time just because I love the way it looks. And this is like the kind of look that they're going with this t-shirt. Um, I love the font. The font is so cool. It gives me like futuristic vibes. And then obviously the logo on the back looks so sick. Um, I love all the colorways as well. But yeah, in saying that, all of this collection is unisex anyway, so I love that they do different colorways for everyone. Um, yeah, I really like this one. This is one of my favorite pieces. It's simple, but it's cool. I love this aesthetic. Moving on, we have the only vest in the collection. Now, oh, I used to love vests and I used to wear them all the time, but ever since I put on a little bit of weight, I don't really look good in a vest anymore. So I just like feel insecure in a vest, but I do love this vest. It says for all the up children of the world we forgive you drop dead um and it's called revelations i think it's cool um i think it fits their aesthetic very well and i think a lot of people will be getting this because people love vests um so i think this will sell well um but yeah if it was on a t-shirt i don't know i just don't really like having stuff with the word on it i just think I don't think I would ever, I would be too scared to wear it outside, but yeah. Anyway, moving on, I really like that. We have Visitation World Tour. Now, oh, this is so cool. I love this piece. Um, so there is a hoodie and a t-shirt of this. I, I would have got the t-shirt, but I don't know. I, I just, I was sitting on the fence about it. I don't know why, um, but I love the character on the front. She is so cool with a massive sword. Um, I think it might be because her tits are out, but like you can't see them, but I know that they're out. I don't know, I just never like wear stuff like that in public, so I wouldn't want to purchase it, if that makes sense. But um, I love the bag. It's just got like all places from around the world. Um, I saw Melbourne, Australia. What about Adelaide, Australia? Excuse me. Um, yeah, no, I love this. I think it's so cool. Like I love when brands do like a like a fake world tour moment where they have like all countries on the back. I just think it's really cool if you're like one of the countries that are on the back. So yeah, I love this piece. Um, I would get the t-shirt just because I have so many hoodies. I don't need another hoodie. Um, but yeah, this is a really cool piece. Love it. I love the neon green and the black. It's such a good aesthetic and yeah, love it. Okay, moving on, we have, I don't know how to say this, L-A-G-H-I-M-A. I would say it's Lama or Lama. L-A-G-H-I-M-A. Oh, Lahima. I think it would be Lahima. This piece is sick. This might be my favorite piece in the collection and I regret not getting it because it's sold out. Both, so there is a sweater and there is shorts. I will put them both on the screen for you. You would have seen already. Um, I love this piece. I think it's so cool. It's very, um, Gives me like supreme vibes, which is a good thing. Um, I really love just the aesthetic of it. And I just think whatever's on that t-shirt is going to kill you. And it looks like a final boss. And I just think that's so cool. I love all the candles at the bottom. I love where they're placed as well. Like they're placed randomly, but like in like a good order where it looks really cool when you're wearing the item. So yeah, I really love this piece. And I think they've done such a good job with Lahima. I'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce it. I regret not buying it, but um, hopefully it will be restocked. Hopefully stuff will be restocked because it's probably going to be in a very high demand. 
But yeah, love this piece. Let's move on. Okay, so next is Drop Dead Dot Weld. Now they have a sweater which is blue tie dye, and they have a T-shirt which is like red pink tie dye. It's hard to tell in the photos. Um. I don't mind this, but it's just a little bit boring to me. Like, it's not an image, it's just text, and it's, like, not, like... It's not, like, a cool saying, it's just, like, kind of their website and, like, where where you can find UFOs and videos, and... I don't know, it's just kind of, like, a, a promo piece, which doesn't really, like, sit well with me, but, um, I can understand it, and it's selling. I've seen a few people buy it, but, um, I just personally wouldn't buy it, um... I love the tie-dye, the tie-dye is always cool, I love tie-dye, I think tie-dye will never ever go out of fashion, it's always gonna be like a, a, a cool thing to wear because it's so unique and like each tie-dye is its own thing, but yeah, um, it's cool, I just like, I'm just a bit meh about it to be honest, but yeah, moving on. Two weeks, this is one of the t-shirts that I have bought, I love this, um, I just think it's really cool. I love anything like exoskeleton, like where you can see bones and all of that, and like the little like symbol on it is really cool. Um, yeah, I really like this piece and I bought it. <laughs> um, yeah, I can't really say much about that. And it's got nothing on the back. Um, it looks like it's gonna be a cool t shirt to wear. And yeah, it really stood out to me as well when I saw the characters. It was one of the t-shirts I was like, I definitely think I want to get that one. So yeah, love two weeks. That's probably my favourite in the collection as well. Like it's simple, but it's really cool. Next is Psalm... I don't know what that is in Roman numerals. 10... Probably Psalm 23. Is that Roman numerals? 10, 10, 3. I think it's 23. X, X, I, I, I. And it says, I'm not a slave to a god that doesn't exist. I'm not a slave to a world that doesn't give a shit. Um, <clears throat> now, I really like this saying. It's really cool. Um, I'm, I was really sad because I'm not like a... I, I love the saying, but I wouldn't wear it in public again. Like, it's just one of those things that I'm too scared to wear in public. I know other people will, and it would be so cool. And it would be such a, a good layer piece as well if you have, like, a long sleeve underneath, like, um, ultraviolet. That would look really cool um, layered with this. And yeah, I love that they do. They did a button up, but I, I just wish it was like a design or something better. Like I just, I wish like Lahima was a button up. That would have been, I would have got that straight away, like straight away. Um, but yeah, no, I really like it. It's just like not my cup of tea. Moving on, we have Children of Disobedience. So this one again, I just, I don't know. I think it's the font and the colors that just like, it kind of just looks like a PowerPoint put on a t-shirt for me. Yeah. Um, I don't like to say bad stuff about Dropbit because I absolutely love them, but like that's just my full honesty. I don't really like this. I just find it's a bit boring for me. Um, it comes in two colorways as well. It comes in a gray top and it comes in a black top. I think it would have been cool if there was like a symbol or something on like the arms. Like you know how they put symbols on the arms of some things? Or just like something more. It's just a little bit plain for me, but that's okay. Um, it's cool. I don't know if it's gonna sell well, but yeah. Moving on. <laughs> oh yeah, it says drop dead dot world on the back as well, which is just like a promo for their website, which is I don't know, I just you don't really I don't think you need like that because drop dead is so popular and stuff is selling out. You don't need to like write your website on your clothes. I don't know. It just sits a bit weird with me. All honesty. Next up is Castle. I love, 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 love this piece. Um, I love just like the simplicity of it. It's all black and it's got logos on the sleeves. Um, yeah, and it looks like one of those hoodies has like a really good fit as well. So I think this will sell well. And um, I love the logos. It reminds me of Dead Arms. And yeah, I really like this. And it looks so cool on the character. Like all of these bloody clothes look so cool on the characters. So. Yeah, I really like Castle. I just don't need another hoodie. Like, I've got so many hoodies, I don't need another one. If they make, like, a really, really cool, awesome hoodie that I can't resist, I'll probably get it, but I just say no to hoodies at the moment because I've got a lot. I've got too many. Okay, moving on. So, next up is a Positivity and Abundance. I actually really like this. I think this is cool. Like, I love the um, message behind it. Like, strong aura attracts positivity positivity and abundance and I like how there's like a a silhouette of a person and it's like all rainbow and there's like an, a rainbow aura around them 
Um, I just, I was hesitant to buy it just because, um, they didn't have, like, the actual t-shirt up yet. They just had the character, so you can't really see, like, what it is. But it is really cool. I like it. I think it's quite popular as well. I go by, like, how many likes the products get on my Instagram after I've posted, like, the whole collection and see, like, what ones, like, do you guys like? Like, which one has got the most likes? And, yeah, this one did have a, quite a few likes, so I think it will be popular. It's just I want to see what it looks like in person before I make that pledge to buy it. But I don't really need it. <laughs> Keep telling myself I don't need this stuff. <laughs> and then next we have Revelations. Oh, oh, oh my god, this didn't even click. This is the same as the vest. So it's the same as the vest. It's the sweater, though. I love this. I love the colour grey. It's so cool. But yeah, like I said, I wouldn't wear... I wouldn't want, like feel comfortable wearing this out in public, but I think it's so cool. And I think this is actually going to sell well because their grey sweaters, they just hit different. Like, they're so... I've got a few sweaters from them, and I just really love their sweaters. Like, they're so nicely made, thick material. Even when it's distressed, it just feels cool to wear it. So, yeah, I really love this. I actually haven't looked at the let me just have a look at what the actual piece itself looks like or is it not up oh that's why it's not up yet so this is another one where it's just like showing on the character so i'm a bit hesitant to well i'm not hesitant i'm not going to be purchasing this but um if i was like interested in this i would be hesitant to buying it because you can't see like the actual t-shirt itself uh sweater itself but yeah love it moving on we have incarcerated jeans. Now, so yeah, this like whole set, like the incarcerated set, like is the most expensive in the whole collection. I do like these jeans, but I just think there should be more on the front, like on the, the thigh kind of area. That it's all like low. When I look at jeans, I always look like around the thigh kind of area. So like on the leg. Um, but no, I think it's really cool. I think it's going to go really well as like a whole set. And I love all the little details and just, yeah, I think it's cool. But I think it's just a bit weird how it's all like on the bottom. I don't know, it just, it's a bit weird for me. But, um, I think it's going to be so good for photos and like, this is like such a statement piece as well. I think this is like one of like the ones that and Ollie and Jacob like really worked on to like, be like, yes, this is it. Like, this is the one that I want to put in. And, yeah, it's cool. Um, I just personally wouldn't wear them. And I'm really scared to buy jeans from Drop Dead as well, just because their sizing is always different, and it's, like, hard, and I can't return it because I'm all the way in Australia. So, yeah. I really have to justify jeans, and I would always probably get, like, a size up than I normally would wear. Then we have Get Your Ass to Mars. This is sick. This goes really well with the favourite t-shirt, my favourite t-shirt from the collection. I think it will be such a cool set. Um, I think it's joggers. It's really hard to tell, actually. Let me see in the description. Okay, so no, they're trousers. So, yeah, see, that's the same thing. Like, I'm just a bit iffy with trousers because I don't know how they're going to fit on me. I really like these, I love this like design, I think it looks so cool and you can see the actual images and I just think this is going to be another really cool piece and I think Ollie's going to wear these when he gets back to performing and it's just going to be so sick to see him performing all of these like pieces, it's really really cool um, and I love the name, Get Your Ass to Mars, I think that's such a cool name, I think they should have called the t-shirt Get Your Ass to Mars as well. Um, but yeah, that is Get Your Ass to Mars. It's probably my, oh no, my favourite bottoms is Lahima probably. But yeah, anyway, moving on. We have the Lahima shorts. I've already talked about Lahima. I love Lahima. It looks so cool. I hope I'm saying that right. I'm so sorry if I'm saying that wrong. Now next, we have the sticker packs. And I love when Drop Dead do sticker packs. Like, I'm a collector of all the stickers. I have so many stickers. <laughs> I have a whole, like, bag of them. Um, I could literally cover this whole wall of stickers if I wanted to. But yeah, I love that they've got all the characters. Um, my favourite character, by the way, is Switch, which is this one. I think he's just so cool. Um, and I really want to try do that makeup by myself for, like, Halloween or something, or when the collection arrives. I just think it looks so cool. Um, 
But yeah, my, my favourite sticker pack is definitely sticker pack one with all the faces, the characters. And yeah, I can't wait to get them. I just think they're so cool. I also really like Mother, which is this one here. I think that would be a really cool makeup look as well. So yeah, I'm very excited to recreate some of these characters for Halloween or um, just in general. I just think they're so cool. And then the next sticker pack, it wasn't my favourite, but like just for like collection purposes, I was like, I need to get all of them. Um, it has Ollie in it as well. It has Ollie's face. It has the logo. Um, it says, look at all there is around you with like eyes opening and closing. And it just has children of disobedience. Come let us grow together. Yeah, um, it's not my favorite sticker pack, but I had to get it because Ollie's face is in it. <laughs> um, and then next we have sticker pack three which has Jacob in it and it has the logo, it has the alien and it has the aura kind of moment on it. I will like literally put it all on the screen for you so you can see. But yeah, I really love when they do sticker packs, I think it's so cool. And the last thing that they have done is a card pack. Now, oh, this is so exciting. So I believe from reading the description, you can buy a pack and you get six in the pack. There is 13 cards all together. So 12 of them um, are things that we can see, but there's one that is like really rare. I'm hoping I get my hands on it. Um, and it'll unlock a special character on the website. So if you go on Archangels, you can see like that there's like one that's like scrubbed out. And I think you need to have the card to be able to get to that character, which I think is really cool. Like, I, it just reminds me of like Yu-Gi-Oh days. I wasn't a Pokemon collector, but I did collect Yu-Gi-Oh cards. And it just reminds me of that. And I just think it's so cool to have like a card with a piece of clothing that you've got on it. But yeah. That's about it for today's video, guys. Like I said, I still need to film my outerwear for my channel. There's a lot, like there's a whole rail staring at me. I'm like, I'll get to you, don't worry. And I will also be doing a review collection haul on the stuff that I picked up from this collection as well. I still might be getting more, I don't know. Like, it's a really good collection. I'm very happy with it. Um, there's a few disappointing pieces, but I think there always is, and it's like personal preference as well. Um, it's just like the stuff with just like the simple like font. It's just like not really my aesthetic. But yeah, that is it for the Being of Light collection review. I'm very proud of Oliver, Jacob, and everyone involved. Like, it's, they've done such a good job. I've been waiting for a collection for so long. Like, it was a bit tedious, like, them uploading, like, a few t-shirts here and there. Like, throwbacks and, like, random designs. But yeah, I'm really glad that we've got a whole collection finally. I think the website looks amazing. They did such a good job and yeah, I'm just like really proud of the team. Like pat on the back for them. They did such a good job with this and this is why I support Drop Dead. Like they're always changing and like growing and like it's, it's just always cool to wear their stuff and it's very rare here in Australia. So I really like to stand out with my Drop Dead clothes and yeah. And yeah guys, that is it for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed. Please leave a comment down below your favorite pieces, what you got, I'm very curious. Um, subscribe if you haven't already. I try to upload a bit of Drop Dead content, but I mostly do makeup, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, you can probably see on my page, I do mostly makeup here. So if you like makeup, then come join the family. And yeah, that's it. I hope you guys are staying safe, happy, and healthy, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.